What's up? Creepers and Geekers, Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? Today we got a video for you. The kind I absolutely love to make, the kind I live for, the kind I wake up every day hoping for. It's not necessarily so much because it's a, hey guys, check this out. Look what's coming out, you know? Because, in all honesty, this thing may not actually come to fruition. Um, this cat is just kind of playing with the idea. And I think he's just feeling things out a little bit. And that's why I was hoping to make this video to get the word out there within my circles. Because I know at least a handful of people I know would be willing to pick something like this up. And he was real hesitant to let me even make this video to begin with. But I was able to talk to him and tell him, look, I just want people to see that you're making it. I won't say it's going to be for sale and all that stuff because it's not necessarily going to be a thing. He's playing with the idea and feeling it out. So... Let's get to what I'm actually talking about. I mean, you saw the title card, so you obviously know what it is, but just watch this for a few seconds. Hey guys, so this is a new controller design. It's a prototype that I designed to play Robotron 2084 on the Atari 7800. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that fantastic? Okay, let's scroll a little bit here. I'm gonna put a link to his. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to his deal in the comments in the, in the, in the info down below. Go follow him. Um, he does more than just this, but I wanted to show you this one here because it's kind of an update design. Handle since I was talking it. to him. So just to place that in there, show you how that works real quick. And there you go. So what's different about this one is I 3D printed a new case that has the start and select buttons that are really mapped to action one and action two for the Atari 7800. So in other words, if somebody was to use this controller, they could use it for Robotron, but then they could use it for other Atari 7800 games. So just to give you a quick example. So you get the idea. We don't need to see the example. I'll leave his information down below. Um, now I'm gonna bring it to his store over on eBay just to uh, show a few things here. This guy isn't new in the uh, controller making world. I mean, he's got some here for the ColecoVision, the Commodore 64. We got a C60. What? Yeah, Commodore. Oh, what is that? Commodore G? 64 GS? I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. I'm not a Commodore guy. Atari 7800, the Amiga. I believe he has an MSX. Yep, there it is. So it's not like this guy doesn't know what he's doing. The Omega Race Control. I have no idea what the fuck that is, but the guy knows what he's doing. He's 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 making his own PCBs, printing up the cases. I mean, he's doing this all himself. It's not just kind of a, a fly-by-night, just throw a few resistors and cut a few wires here and there, and bam, this all of a sudden works for the 7800. He's actually designing the board and having them made, or he makes them himself, printing up the thing. Now, the little handles on the side, um, he did say to me that those were more something he found on Thingiverse, and he's just kind of redoing it to work for his needs. Now... It's not so much this controller, it, I mean the controller is amazing, um, and the reason I showed you the update is because of the two red buttons in the middle. Uh, one of the questions myself and a few other people had was, why is there a start and select still on the Nintendo-esque controller? And like he said, because he's mapping those out. So it's not just a Robotron controller with the two um, D-pads. So long story short, and if I heard or read him correctly in our correspondence, he just recently discovered Robotron 2084 and loved the game and then discovered that it was actually supposed to be a two-control kind of deal. Um, so he saw a need and he went forth and used his skills to produce something for himself. Uh, and it has bettered his score quite a bit and he's been pretty proud about that. And he's also been posting stuff like that since then. So I just wanted to get the word out there and get the feels out there because I'm pretty sure... If the price is right and he's able to do it economically where he can make something out of it and we can afford it and all that, I'm pretty sure we can make this happen. Not guaranteeing it. Again, I can't stress it enough. It's not something that's going to come out with. He made it for himself and it's just the idea. Um, but I want him to see personally down in the comments below or if you start following him again, all the links to this and his eBay store and everything will be down below. Click on them all, follow him on Twitter, find him elsewhere on social media, go to his eBay, 
do whatever you got to do over there if, if you have a need for any of those products he's got there. But let him know. Let him know. Hey, look, you know what? We're interested. And if you look at the price, the prices he has here, um, I got to go back and do it. It's between $35 and $40. Now, I think he's a little nervous about that price. I know a handful of cats myself. I know Justin at Tar.io. I'm damn sure Willie of Arcade USA. And I can keep on going on and on and on. Maybe even the No Swear Gamer. I think $40 and under would not be unreasonable. So I am going to just kind of change this up a little bit. And put a different view on the screen while I give you my closing thoughts. If I can just, you know, figure out how to do this properly. <laughs> But guys, yeah, go go follow him down below. Um, all that stuff's there. There we go. Whoa, look at that. I can finally, light shines on Marblehead, as we say here in Boston. But um, I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see if this thing comes out. And if it does come out, I guarantee I'll be one of those first cats in line saying, take my money, please. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll buy a second one if I have the funds for it. And we'll do something here with it. You know what I mean? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But either way, guys, I'm excited regardless if it comes out or whether it doesn't. Whether he just keeps it for himself, which I completely understand if that is something that he would rather do. Believe me, I get it. I'm a creative guy. You all know that. I'm, look at that. Oh, you're seeing the, the, the first glimpses of something that I haven't even finalized yet. Oh, yeah. It's so beautiful. But either way, guys, go ahead. And leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Um, more importantly, let him know what you think. So click on the links down below. Follow this cat. Even if this isn't a controller of your interest, I'm sure there's something in there um, in his store that could benefit you in the long run. Guys, go ahead and leave feedback. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. All feedback to the Creep is Positive. Don't forget to donate to the Alzheimer's Association. Link will be down below. Until next time, guys, hope you're having a great week. Enjoy your weekend. Take care. Creep it real. I was going to find that stop button. <laughs> and bye-bye.